And right now, that major traffic alert along I-4 right in the heart of downtown Orlando. The interstate reduced to just one lane and will stay that way through the weekend. This morning, we have team coverage to help you get results and avoid delays. Trooper Steve is pinpointing the best detours, but we begin with Mark Lehman live along I-4. So, Mark, how's it looking at this hour? Well, where we're at is actually not that bad. Mind you, we're a couple miles past uh, that initial closer off Princeton Street, and you can see things open up here through downtown Orlando. Uh, Orlando, uh, But a couple miles back where that initial closure is happening, things are shaping up to be a big mess. This week will be the most disruptive we've had on this project since we broke ground in February of 2015. Disruptive may be an understatement for drivers trying to head westbound on I-4 through downtown Orlando. From now through Monday morning, only one lane of the interstate is open for about a three-mile stretch from Princeton Street until Gore Street. So I-4 westbound will still be open to traffic, but we anticipate heavy delays. The delays coming to one of the busiest sections of I-4 in Central Florida. At the same time, other work is also underway. The exit at Anderson Street is closed and the I-4 and 408 ramps will be blocked at different times through the weekend. It's really important for drivers to plan ahead, give themselves additional time to navigate either the alternate routes or to navigate the congestion that's going to occur on westbound I-4. All of this is part of accelerated work on the I-4 Ultimate Project put into effect during Florida's stay-at-home order, which ended last month. On Thursday, Governor Ron DeSantis hinted another update could be coming soon. I got I-4 Ultimate. We're going to have, I think on Monday, we're going to have a nice unveiling of these great new interchanges. Now, we asked the governor's office what he meant by that statement, but so far we haven't heard back. But one of the big questions is, in all of this is how things are going to look with more businesses reopening and more people going out and about. And spoiler alert, it's not going to be good. We're already seeing that so far this morning. We will keep watching the traffic here in downtown Orlando, and we'll keep you updated throughout the morning. For now, reporting live in Orlando, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. Thank you, Mark. Let's get over to traffic safety expert Trooper Steve. And Steve, there are a couple of detour options to get around this. Yes, there are. And I love how Mark and I are on the same page when it comes to the sense of humor of this right now. This is going to be westbound I-4. Sky 6 is over it. That's Lake Ivanhoe. You can see traffic moving very slow and then slowly merging at the bottom of your screen there. DOT camera showing this is Ivanhoe. So I moved it from Colonial and we're pretty thick when it comes to to westbound traffic through here. You can see it moving very slow.